good morning, y'all. I've decided I'm gonna try Vlogmas. What? Okay, I'm gonna try a week of Vlogmas. I just feel like I need to put out some more content and uh, you know what? Just let's do a week in the life. What a better time. It is Christmas time in the city and so I'll give you a little sneak peek of like day-to-day -day life here. So today is Monday, December 7th, I think. Yeah, it's Monday, December 7th. I woke up this morning and had a little leg workout, you know, starting my week right. And now I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm working from home as I have been for the past, like, nine months. So I'm sure Madison will come down. Michaela's working too. Maybe some exciting things will go on today. I don't know, it might just be a boring little Monday. But let's get this week started on the right foot. So I'm going to make some hard boiled eggs and then I'm going to have like a hummus, hard boiled egg, tomato toast for breakfast because you know, health. healthy breakfast this morning. I ran out of, well, I didn't run out, but um, my hummus is bad. So I did guac, oh, I got an egg on me. I put some guac, tomatoes, and hard boiled eggs. I really don't like this bread, but I bought it and I needed to finish it. So, help. So. I have like 15 minutes before work starts and I've been slacking on uh, washing my slippers. I realized last week that my feet reek and it's because they, so I'm gonna hand wash them to start my week on the right foot. I mean, I guess I already did by working out, but this will make it even better because I hate walking around barefoot in my apartment. It's not dirty, but I just prefer it, you know? So let's hand wash these babies. I showered since I worked out and put on a comfy sweatsuit because that's all I live in. This one's from Duncan. Cute. I don't even drink coffee, so it's kind of funny. But now I just have to do some work. Um, I'm a food writer at People, so I just write about new food and stuff. So I have an article I have to write and a few other things I have to do. So that's going to be my whole afternoon. So. I'll be sitting on this corner of the couch all day long and uh, just writing. Hello. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hi. My neighbor Christy came down to visit using the oven Hello. and the kitchen because hers is getting gutted. Woo we love gutted kitchens and renovated do we? kitchens. Do we? Yes, we do because it means some What are you heating up? So this is a veggie hummus wrap from Trader Joe's. I've actually tried it before. I'm a huge fan of it. It has like the right amount of crunch, but with the right amount of like indulgence, you know? Yeah. Big fan. Nice. Anything Trader Joe's is amazing. That's so true. So if you guys don't know, I like live in a building with 15 of my closest friends. So we're just always over at each other's places all the time. All I'm making time. lunch too. I'm making mashed potato bowl. Ooh, yum. What's yeah. going in it? Uh, meatless grounds, 
shredded cheese. I'm gonna add a little bit of bacon too. You can make like a potato bowl very healthy, but it still tastes so indulgent. We love indulgence Yeah, here. that's what I need. Even though like the holiday is all about indulgence, but putting some potatoes and then we'll make this little bowl for myself. So I sometimes try to eat like meat free, you know, save the planet. And I really like Trader Joe's meatless grounds. Um, I'm actually like kind of allergic to soy, so I shouldn't eat this. It kind of makes me gassy, but gotta save the environment. Am I right? So we're sitting here talking about New York's probably gonna go into another lockdown soon, and Christy wants to get a dog. So. Uh, I really do because I don't. I like. I work from home alone, and I really just. I've had a dog before, so I know everything that goes into it, and I really want one. But we'll see how it goes. You gotta like make sure you get like a super small one. Not like super small, but like. Enough for like a New York City apartment. Yeah. Usually I'm the one that goes to bother Kel during work, but she came out here to bother me today. No, come back! What? <laughs> How's Monday going? It's going. It's Monday. Nine days until I'm off for Christmas. Hey! So obviously Christmas is soon. If you're anything like me, I do all of my shopping last minute, which I shouldn't have because there were so many things that I found cute on Etsy that were not taking orders anymore. So I'm like struggling to find some things for my sister and stuff. But I was just thinking about gift guides because I was working on one for work. And I just want to like share with you guys like, so I am like a food writer. So all of the gift guide stuff I did for work was food related, but they're all like pretty cute things so I thought that I'd share you with share them with you and I already have two of them and I really like them so yeah I'll show you so I'm a huge bar cart person and I love whenever I get like super nice spirits as gifts so I decided to include this bottle of tequila called Chincoro uh, my friend Nico actually won a bottle of this last week at Bingo. It's so good. It kind of tastes like roasted marshmallows and dark chocolate. It's like no other tequila I've ever tasted before. And the bottle itself is just so, it's like a statue. And it's just like such a cool addition to my bar cart. So I feel like that's a great gift. It's very expensive. It's like $130 for that bottle. So definitely like if you have anyone that is a tequila connoisseur in your house, that's awesome. Okay, so my next gift guide thing is Hot Ones Truth or Dab the Game. My friends and I played this on Thanksgiving and it's so much fun. I'm the kind of person that doesn't like hot things so I always answer the cards. Uh, but it comes with like this little hot sauce from the internet show and it's just like different truth or dare cards. So like what's a food you love that everyone hates? That one's kind of stupid. Um, What's your biggest turn off? There's like 250 cards. It's so much fun to play, like a cute little group game. And I feel like it's going to be great for whenever we <laughs> go into lockdown again, we'll have something to do instead of just sit on our phones doing nothing. The last thing I put on the gift guide is this croissant lamp that is apparently made from real bread. And I don't understand. My friend Marie got it as a gift and I just thought it was so cute. Um, I don't understand it. I don't think I ever will, even though it explains it. It's just weird and quirky and I'd want to eat it, but cute little lamp. Are you eating fancy sauce right now? Oh, what's in your fancy sauce? It's fancy sauce. It's really healthy. I feel like it needs like spices in there to taste good, no? No, I don't like ketchup. It doesn't taste like ketchup. I don't really want it. <laughs> Yum. Work is over. Uh, I'm having dinner before I go to Sexy Bingo. Sexy Bingo is the best thing in the world. 
I'm like the queen of bingo. It's at my favorite bar in the world, Pocket Bar. And I just started going again last week because they just picked it up in person. Um, but I was not smart and didn't eat before I went and got a little bit too drunk. So I'm just having more of my lunch, more loaded mashed potatoes. Um, and then I'm gonna get my bingo on with Nico and Gab and Trixie and hopefully I bring home a prize package tonight. I think this might be the last week in a bingo because there's rumors that Cuomo is gonna stop indoor dining as early as next Monday. So, disappointing, but um, we'll see how that goes. So, yo, you guys are in for a wild ride so you can see what bingo is and uh, you're gonna love it. Snack, little baby bell cheese and crackers. There's speaking a... to my heart. Oh, this is not even real. This is fake. This cheers means nothing. Nico! What is it? I don't believe in you two. This is great life. Oh. I-27. I-27. Don't have that either. Social! Oh, 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 62. Yes! I'm two away in so many spots! <laughs> Nico, round two. Yes, baby. Yes. Nico, you like being on camera. Stop being rude. Oh. That's a social I'm ready for. I made the one. I-27. I love it. Me, 57. Hey! Grandma is 57. Oh, 72. Bingo! Oh. Girl, fuck it. Cool. What is dance off? Dance off? Trixie, you ready? You ready for this? Who's gonna win? Thank all your fans. 2020 has been such a difficult year. And you know, I came into this being the Queen of Bingo and I'm gonna leave it being the Queen of Bingo. Yeah. Bingo. 
I won big tonight. I'm gonna do an unboxing and then go to sleep and end this first day of my week of Vlogmas. I need something to stab with. Can you hand me a knife? Oh, hope you didn't get the popcorn. Okay. What Paca is Bar Rosé? We have a bottle of Paca Bar Rosé. Wine enthusiasts, this is like a cork. Like, okay, I'll never use this because I'm a firm believer that once you open a bottle of wine, you have to finish it in the same night. But this is for those people that don't believe that. And it apparently keeps the wine fresh. I just realized you can see me in the mirror. <laughs> is that a pine cone? A pine cone candle. Doesn't smell like anything. It has napkins and Toblerone. a Toblerone. Oh, whoops, sorry, I'm talking. It's a tree. It is hot glued on. Oh, there we go. Got it. Can it's we a put it on our tree? tree? Sure. It could be the chopper. And where are you cinnamon bun popcorn. Ooh. Oh. I thought, what if we put the bow on top of our tree? Do it. Oh my God, that's such a good idea. Yeah.